Hello, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a swept blend in Revit within the adaptive component environment. So first of all, we start off with an adaptive component that has uh, an arc that is um, controlled by the midpoint that it's snapped to and the endpoints. So we want to sweep a blend along the arc. So I'm going to use a, a profile, which uh, has to actually be another adaptive component. So it can't be a typical Revit 2D profile. So first of all, I've already created one. And you can see that uh, it looks pretty much like a profile with parameters, except that it's drawn in 3D. The origin point is the intersection of the, the two reference planes. Note that I have not placed an adaptive point in there. It's not required. So I will load that into the other family. And then I can place one on onto the arc. And I'll place another one somewhere near the other end. Then I'm going to select one of those and change it to a different type that I've already created that is uh, somewhat bigger. Then what I'm going to do is pick one profile, pick the other, and pick just the arc, and uh, try and avoid Revit's very annoying method of automatically selecting a chain of reference lines in the adaptive environment. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Create Form and click on that. And it sweeps a blend along the arc between the two profiles. And uh, what I can do is maybe select that. And you can see that if I drag the profile along to the end, then the swept blend goes with it. I could, of course, have put the profile on the end in the first place, but I just wanted to show what happens if you didn't. And it won't let it go beyond that. And if I were to change this type to another one, I'm just going to change it to the small one. You'll see that the swept blend goes with it. And it just becomes a normal sweep. So there you go.